Society can't survive without electricity, as this miniature model of Berlin shows at a glance. A real city, too, functions only as long as the current flows. But fear of a blackout is growing, especially among people who work in energy-intensive industries. For example, Ulf Gerkens, energy manager at Arubis Copper. The danger of a blackout has greatly increased, simply because the grid is much more heavily used and is turned on and off. There's much more traffic on the energy highway. Renewable energies are part of the problem. The wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine at a constant rate. Power grid fluctuations used to require 10 to 20 interventions a year. Now thousands are needed. But Jochen Hohmann from the Federal Power Authority says the problem is manageable. It's true, the whole system is under greater stress than it would be without the renewable energy sources, but I think it's exaggerated to invoke the bugaboo of a major blackout. If the energy supply breaks down, that not only cuts off lighting, television, the telephone system and heating, it also means water stops flowing automatic teller machines stop working. Looting and violence could explode, even after only a short time. If the electricity really goes off, then chaos breaks out rather quickly. In a major blackout, the economy would collapse, factories would shut down, and so would every office that uses modern communications and computer technology. The economy and all of society are highly dependent on electricity. Electricity is the bloodstream of the economy. If it fails, the economy is paralyzed. And of course, that would mean substantial losses to the gross domestic product. Companies that use lots of energy, like Arubis Copper, suffer even from short-lived power fluctuations. They produce copper that is also needed for building windmills, solar collectors, and expanding the electrical grid. The blast furnaces at Arubis have to operate without interruption. For example, if there were a blackout in the winter, the copper would solidify and would have to be removed from the equipment by hand. That's why Arubis has purchased backup generators. They would keep the copper hot. Production couldn't continue, but losses could be limited. And they threaten to incur even with minor current fluctuations. <laughs> Even a brownout of just a few hours costs us a few hundred thousand euros. And if the power failed and we didn't have our backup generators, then we'd be talking about losses in the double-digit millions. So Germany's Federal Electrical Grid Agency understands the fear of blackouts. It regards an expansion of the grid as a way of getting a handle on current fluctuations. But it also appeals to companies' sense of responsibility for themselves. If a company has such a sensitive production system that it has to bridge power interruptions that last only milliseconds, which are completely normal and have always happened, then it ought to have its own emergency power generator. Today, every hospital has one. The agency says the population is not endangered. On the contrary, says Hohmann, Germany's energy supply is very secure in comparison with other countries. I wouldn't say it's the most secure in the world, but it's one of the most secure. Will that reassure Ulf Gerkens of Arubis? Of course, if there is a blackout, everything will be done to restore power as fast as possible. Renewable energy sources complicate things, but a major blackout is not in the offing.